Okay, uh, again, I'm not going to give a day because I apparently can't keep track of days. Uh, We're doing our orange OBs. We lost the entire breeding colony, uh, which was in greenhouse two, which apparently got colder than uh, greenhouse one. Uh, we have backup breeders in uh, one that I'm going to go through and select breeders from. Uh, we also lost uh, our Macaulay Spring guppies, Pacelia reticulata. It's a wild population from the Hemis Mountains in uh, n northern New Mexico. It, uh, the spring it has 85 degree water. There are a series of three pools that opens up into a big pool. Uh, uh, that then overflows a rock outcrop into a, uh, a smaller kind of hot tub sized pool and then down to a third one then it runs down the mountainside. Uh, the guppies reside in all three of those although they're more common in the upper larger pool which stays warmer because the water's coming out of the ground. Uh, the, I'm not surprised we lost them because they've been they've been there at least since the 1970s and I found a reference long ago in a hiking book uh, uh, that I had in Santa Fe and I can't find the book anymore. Can't, uh, but it said that they had been there, the book was published in 1990. They said they, the guppies had been there for 75 years, which would have put them in the, the spring about the time guppies were originally brought to the United States. Uh, at any rate, they've been there a long time. They're adapted to constant 85 degree water. Uh, Susie and I are planning a trip uh, now that we've both been vaccinated, gotten, gotten our second shots. Uh, and after we get caught up with uh, uh, fish, we're gonna go to Santa Fe and uh, I'm gonna hike up to Macaulay Springs and collect uh, some again. So we'll have them again. Uh, we don't have any video of them, but I'll have Carl post some photos I've taken of them and links to uh, our uh, uh, blogs about them. Also, there's an article in uh, Tropical Fish Hobbyist magazine uh, that I wrote about them. A uh, little bit funny backstory on that. Uh, I hiked up to the spring to, to collect and take photos uh, for the article, uh, mainly take photos. I already had the fish. And a couple days later, my uh, Susie's brother and, and his wife came into town and wanted to, to do that hike. It's an ice out from the uh, trailhead about two and a half miles uh, up and down, high elevation. So if you're not used to it, it get out of breath. But it's a nice hike. So I took them up there and uh, took photos of them beside the pool. Well, in the art, when the first time I was there to take photos, there was a German couple there uh, in the nude uh, in one of the lower pools. I obviously didn't take photos of them. I talked to them, said hi. Uh, but in the article, I mentioned the German couple being nude, and because I then had a, in order to show the size of the pool, I had my brother-in-law and his wife stand on the other side of the pool, took a photo of them, and uh, so the logical thing was that that couple was the German couple clothed. Uh, uh, kind of funny there. Uh, uh, they took it well. Uh, although I, sh I should have gotten a list of their friends and, and, and sent a link to the article. Uh, at any rate, you might find that article in TFH. I have a hard time finding uh, uh, URLs for TFH that I can link to. Okay, so we're going to do orange OBs after that long digression. Uh, I'm putting a couple gallons of water into a couple buckets here, and I'm going to do males first. These are some older males that I had set aside earlier, two of them. Uh, and I like this guy, but he's not orange enough. This guy's fairly orange, so I'm going to set him aside. I'll look at this guy again. He could go, he could almost go in our sky blue population. Also, I am working on a, a red and blue, sky blue strain, so he might go into that. 
but I'm going to set him aside. I'm probably not going to use him in this project. These are some younger males. Let's see. I like him. I like him. No. Maybe. No, again, like that other male, a little bit too much blue on him. Oops, some of these think they're salmon. Too blue. Possibly going to be orange enough. That may be a female. I think it is. One liability of selecting for color in females is sometimes it's hard to sex them when they're around uh, four to six, seven months old. Uh, and these peacock strains, uh, the females often have egg spots too, so you can't go by that. Uh, the head shape is usually the best way to tell until they get fully mature. Okay, so we're down to five right here. I'm going to take a look at these two little ones. He's better. He's better. Oops, sorry. He's not bad. Okay, we'll go with three. And those guys will go into a vat to look at again, decide whether we're going to sell them or keep them for something else. Now I'm going to go through the smaller fish. And this is all we have left of this strain. Uh, are those, uh, let's see, eight males, no, nine males, and however many possible females in here. Some of these are a little bit small. They might turn into males. One thing about this strain is that females often are darker orange than the males. Uh, so I'm going to count all of these as, as females. That's, that one's a little hard to tell. That's definitely a female right there. If I end up with some young males in there, let's see, five, uh, doesn't really matter. The older males will outcompete them. That's a female. Let's see, what was that? Six. Couple nice little females. Eight. See, these guys think they're salmon. They're jumping. That's a nice female. More of a gold than an orange. Let's see, was it nine, ten, eleven? Fourteen. It's a female. Fifteen, sixteen. Nineteen. Twenty-one. That's not a good female for this strain, but we just don't have any choice. It does have good color, so it'll be a good blue. That was what, twenty-two. <laughs> okay, we're going. I'm going to put. That's a not. That's a little female. That orange one there. Uh, okay, Susie says twenty-six and one more little fish. Probably a female, judging from color. But. I think I had the trouble with this little fish earlier. <laughs> she, she thinks she's a salmon. This is the only peacock strain that does that. Yeah, she's nice. Uh, so what do we say? Twenty-eight. Okay, she nods yes. I think, I think she thinks I'm off one, but it's close enough. Okay, uh, we're going to set these up in their vat. Uh, we'll. Uh, Hope to get them up to full strength next time. Uh, actually, about two cycles from now, because we've got to we'll harvest their offspring in three to four months, uh, let them grow up, and then we'll add. So it's going to be you know, probably eight or nine months before we get this back up to full uh, breeding capacity. Good fish keeping.